advancement of information technology in Nigeria and the gains recorded indirectly pose a challenge for the Ministry of Information and Culture. Minister of Information and Culture, Lai Mohammed, says fake news and hate speech are the flip side of Nigeria's success in information technology. He made the statement at the celebration of the Digital Nigeria Day in Abuja, Celestina area report, after which we'll have the weather forecast followed by business news. Nigeria adopted 24th October as its Digital Nigerian Day. Digital transformation has brought a lot of changes in education, finance, health and housing. The ICT sector has contributed immensely to the gross domestic product of the country in the last three years. 14.07% in the first quarter of 2020, 17.92% in the second quarter of 2021, and 18.44% in the second quarter of 2022. At each stage, these numbers have been the highest ever contribution of the ICT sector to the GDP, playing a critical role in enabling Nigeria to exit the recession. 51 billion naira quarterly to 408 billion naira quarterly, up and approximately. That percentage, until you know the difficulty of revenue generation. Spending money is easier, but generating is difficult. Technology has two components the technology and the people's side of it. Talent is the people's side of the technology. We have several initiatives to position Nigeria to become the global talent supplier. 18 trillion job vacant worldwide are waiting for. And Microsoft is already offering to train 5,000 Nigerians. Learned in depth today about Nigeria's digital economy policy and strategy. I've admired the country's uh, uh, jumps and leapfrogs uh, and ambitions to have one million software developers by the end of the next year. The Ministry of Information and Culture, Lai Mohammed, says ICT advancements has removed gatekeepers in the area of information dissemination. This has given way to a free flow of hate speech and fake news. Okay, technology. It is affecting my ministry in the sense that why this technology has made access to information easy, it has also created a lot of problems in terms of fake news. Nigerians have a duty to ensure that they fact check and analyze information before they are disseminated in order to call the spread of fake news and hate speech. Celestina Iria, TVC News, Abuja.